Hi guys and welcome to this weekend's bonus video. Now I've had a lot of people ask me about how I'm going to be doing Operation Summer and believe it or not, I do a lot of these events. And if you need any reason to listen to me, this is all the vehicle coupons that I've managed to collect without spending a single dollar through the Gaijin Marketplace. Now there is way more than a thousand dollars worth of coupons here and it's going to be even more by the time we're done with this one. Now the first thing we're going to do is look at what the event is and which achievements we're going to go for. So first of all, you want to click on your player profile icon, click on achievements and open up the Operation Summer tab. So here are all the achievements required to get all of the marks of distinction. And if you scroll down here, you'll see all the different vehicles, all the different things that you can unlock, camouflages, all the way to decorators and decals. Now, all of these marks of distinction are based off of two days progress. You'll see each one here is dated. You need to complete that task within each date. And if you want to get the F11 or the C2A1 Mexus, you need to collect 10 of these. Now we're going to look at the tasks themselves. I've already completed this in two days, just in making my YouTube videos in a single day. And what we're going to do is we're going to favorite these. We're going to do this for tanks and pilots as well, because we can do both of these in Ground RB. Once you've favorited these, you can close this now and you can open up your favorite achievements tab. Now we're going to have a look at the tankers distinctions. This one here is for destroying 50 player controlled vehicles. The next one is for 14 victories with 70% or higher activity. And this one here is destroyed 12 player control vehicles using tanks. That would be an arcade. But for realistic battles, we only need to destroy six. Next up is the capture 15 points, one that I genuinely avoid. It's not a good one to do and often will get you killed and will take you more time than it would just to get your 14 victories. Next one after this as well is assists. Moving on to mark of distinction for pilots. This one is really easy to do in ground RB. I would say far more easier to do than in air RB. This one is destroy 20 player control vehicles. That's 20 for uh, realistic battles. You've got gain 10 victories uh, with 60% or higher, which is even easier than the tank one. Drop a total of 10 tons of bombs, something I'm not going to do because again, it's a waste of time and resources and as well destroy 11 player control vehicles or only 4 in realistic battles. Something that is easily achievable in a ground attacker. And then the last one is getting 10 assists. This is probably the easiest achievement to do for mark of distinction for pilots. Now I know a lot of people aren't going to like this advice, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Just bear in mind I have all these coupons and I'm no stranger to doing them. The best way to do this event is pick a lineup that you enjoy playing, something that's effective and just play. Don't go setting yourself goals to do things in particular games, you'll just get stressed out, you'll end up quitting the game and you'll start screaming on the reddit forums, screaming at Gaijin and getting awfully upset for no good reason. Try and take your time in matches so you can get your 6 kills, optimize your gameplay and your time in game and your time that you've got in your own life. You only get one life <laughs> so make sure you try and limit the amount of time you spend on this video game and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in the quickest time possible. Now you'll see here I've got a Germany 5-3 loadout and there's a reason for that. One, it gets us away from the R3 spam at 3.7 and two, we'll be able to bully M18s to hell and back even though we're at 5.3. We're equipped to deal with any allied 6.3 vehicle in the game as long as we're using the Panther and the Panzer 470. And we've also got the ME410 B6R3. You'll notice none of these vehicles are premium. I'm using only Tech 3 variants only. So if anyone is free to play, then you don't have the burden of having to figure out which vehicle to replace. But this thing has 30mm HVAP rounds. They pin 90mm of armor from top down. They are very, very effective at getting your four kills. And even if you don't pick that up, we've also got the Stuka D5. This thing is very effective at dropping bombs. You'll at least get one kill per game using this thing. And as well, we've got the BF-109 G2 drop, just in case the enemy is thick with fighters in the sky. And for a good old backup, we've got our Tiger H1, just in case it's almost to the end of the game. We need to spawn a heavy tank just to mop everybody up. And we've got our Werbal Wind, just in case we lose our first tank. And there's a lot of enemy fighters up. You can bring this bad boy out. You can destroy some aircraft and you can also go bully some tanks too. Now, a lot of people are going to want to play a 5-7, but at the end of the day, what you're going to happen is you're going to end up facing 6.7 vehicles such as fully stabilized Brits, and a lot of sweaty players will use them, which puts you at a distinct disadvantage. Now, if you are a regular player of War Thunder and you're very confident in playing 5-7, obviously you're not here to seek my advice. 
and just continue doing what you're doing. I'm pretty sure you'll manage on your own. Now, a very quick keynote. Just bear in mind, these destroy six ground vehicles and destroy four player control vehicles while you're in an aircraft. Bear in mind that these are combined. So if you get two kills in a Panther, two kills in a Tiger, then two kills in a Panzer 470, that qualifies. And the same goes for aircraft. Now, the reason I've chosen the Stuka, the ME410 and the BF109, is that the Stuka costs a different spawn point pool than the fighters do. So make sure you've at least got a fighter and a bomber rather than two fighters or two bombers. So if you only manage two kills in your ME410 B6R3, you can then take out the Stuka and you can maybe get a couple of top down kills with the 20 mils or you can even get a couple of bomb kills as well. And that's why I'm saying to everyone just to take your time with it. Your game will come, just bide your time. Now the last important note I want to add, if you're going for the victories activity, make sure whichever victory you're going for, whether it's going to be in ground vehicles or in aircraft, make sure you end in the vehicle that pertains to. So if you're going for 14 victories in ground and you're in an aircraft just before the game ends, make sure you give yourself plenty of time to J out of your aircraft and spawn in a ground vehicle. Otherwise, if you're in an aircraft, it will count towards your air victories and not towards your tank victories. Okay, let's head into some games and try and get the task done. Okay, Carpathians, this is a full up tier. Decided to bring out my Panzer 470 in this scenario. They have the gun really to deal with anything that we're going to come across, even Super Pershings, even the, the big old IS-2, which we're going to be facing here. The US 90mm and the Brits 17 pounder I'll be French but there's 75 mils this time round there's no Brits on the op opposing team but yeah and the Russian 122 are going to be the real problem for us early position is important so that's exactly what we're going to go do I might spend the majority of this game in my aircraft I don't see myself doing too well on this map against the opponents that we're facing see where our teammates are going as well Luckily we don't have any cap rushers, like I said, our threes generally don't come up anywhere near this battle rating and you don't want to be playing with Axis round about 3-7 just because of people bringing our threes and just leaving games. That's going to leave you high and dry for your your wins etc. You're just going to get bullied by full comp allied teams. That'll be a M18 that's on seat, judging by how quickly he got there. Be careful we don't get shot in the side when we move up here. That'll be another one as well. A sad face on that guy. Oh, we better turn here real quick. There's two kills. This guy just got taken out from the left side, maybe. I'm gonna pop smoke for dealing with anything that's coming from the left. I just seen this guy too. Oh, hello. Okay, and we bounced the shot from the guy in front of us as well. There's actually uh, several over there. I need to keep refreshing the smoke time after time. Should I took a shot at that dude, honestly, but... There we go. We'll refresh that. Just need to keep an eye on that right-hand side. I'm in a really bad spot here, but for kills, if anything drives forward, we've definitely got... Perfect opportunity. If I can get down behind this rock, it would be awesome. Okay, there we go. Driver loader and horizontal. He's probably going to get another shot on us. I don't think he can, actually. There he goes. And that's kill number four. Two more and then we've completed our task. In a single vehicle, I cross in the open here. Got some dust in my face. Okay, the RL44. Unfortunately, that dust got me caught out. 
the guy dropped a shot short and got rewarded for it which kind of sucks i don't really like the dust on war thunder i went straight through my manly oh my god dude okay i'll guide you in a little bit but that's fine just gotta keep moving forward it's just important that you're playing as intelligent as you can not get too frustrated well, this is not normal war thunder play i don't think gaijin realize just how much this affects how people play it's a lot harder to do fun stuff whenever the events are on because people are doing you know that they'll literally focus you to death and not actually care about their survivability uh, it kind of changes the way <laughs> gameplay operates especially like i said when people just rush cabs and leave games and then you're basically left oh that's a that's a boss big p47 the enemy is winning. that is not good I'd really like to get this guy out of the game. Yeah, okay. That was a mistake by me, but I won't get that guy out. Make sure he don't come back. Hey, it's Panther time. I think we're just two kills left. Hopefully that other B will do well. I made Teen shooting into our spawn from somewhere. See if we can identify where this guy is. He's probably a way out on the right hand side. And that's on, like I said, it's just a product of the 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 event and what happens here. Okay, that was a bulldog. Yeah, people will deliberately drive straight to your spawn just to get some extra kills. That M18 die up there. I don't think he's dead actually. Okay, we just got a loader shot out. Like this guy. Yes, you. I can kind of angle my turret on this guy, but not really. Now my gunner's dead, I can't really do much about it. I was hoping a teammate would maybe notice my machine gun fire, but nope. I missed him. There are two guys here. I think an M18 and a Sherman. Directly in front of me behind these rocks here. Oof. That is a big bomb. Okay, I think we need one more. No, we don't. We've got our six. We're done. ASU is dead as well. It's this M18 left now at the opposite. He's directly the opposite side of this rock, actually. Something just tried to kill me from the left as well. That's an ARL 44. I think that was the guy who killed me before. I can't take a shot on this right now because we've only got two crew. Uh, I don't have a friendly nearby either. Okay, cannon barrels out. And just do the face to face. Oh, I just got shot from the right hand side. Hopefully that guy's not got a quick reload. Wait, what? That hit his barrel? Okay. Yeah, I think we are done here now. That's fine though. That our bulldog. funny that these events bring the <laughs> they bring out the true colors and everybody and it's just how it's just the human mentality whenever you're offered something for free you know, people will do anything okay we're on poland this is a full up here i'm going to take the panzer 47a just for some long range engagements uh, we have got the armor to kind of cope with things that are firing at us and as well the gun to deal with pergings and other things we'll see at 6.3 I think it's going to be the most difficult for us is Walker Bulldogs, APDS, and we're against the Brits as well. So we're going to see St. Mark 3s, FV2, FV4202s, and uh, even the Canaveran. We can take them out as well at long range. It's just that they've got a much easier time of doing that against us. But uh, my best available tank probably is this guy to deal with them. So that's exactly what we're going to do. 
Okay, we're likely going to get flanked from this side where I'm facing right now. But that's okay, as long as we can see the open field for at least a couple of minutes to get a quick few couple of kills to get up in our aircraft. I won't mind that at all. I can see people crossing the field already, actually. They've kind of taken a shortcut rather than the long way around. This one particular guy here. Maybe a comet even, yeah. Yeah, that's... that can happen sometimes, shooting a comet. Really trolley manlet. I think somebody's out to the left side of me already. He's fired smoke. Yeah, here comes the rounds. It was a quite slow firing shot. He dead already, actually. Might be the only guy. Wait, okay. We might have this field all to ourselves. The teammate is still firing over there. Oh yeah, there we go. He is still there. Okay, Commander gonna load our horizontal drive. I don't know if he's gonna be able to... Yeah, he is. He just backed up into a bush though. There he goes. I'm quite happy with an assist. We need those two. Right, now we're on field watch. Might actually have a guy in this main road. Keep our binos open. Got a KV-220 pushing up towards the field as well. May draw some fire and give us an easier time spotting things. It's a bounce. That looks like an Avenger. Yeah, it is. It's a very good tank for doing this event, actually. There he is, right there. He's gone full flank. Drop that shot short, but I'll be rewarded for that anyway. He's lots of dust. Got my transmission, unfortunately. He drives a little bit further left and he'll get a kill on me. Yeah, here we go. See if this smoke will actually disperse. It did actually. I think I got lucky. If that guy hit a little bit higher and missed my track armor, he can definitely penetrate me. A couple more seconds and we're back up. And there we go. This is my arch nemesis right now. There he is. Line up a shot. Okay, there he goes. Luckily, he's only got most of his crews in his turret, and he's only got one guy in his hull, so if you get a good turret shot on that thing, it's gone. You really need to depend on not getting shot on that Avenger. Really nice tank destroyer, though. One of my favourite vehicles in the game. If I had a reverse gear, it would be deadly. I think it's time to go brawl, though. Only two kills. Yeah, look after your vehicles. Don't don't just suicide like a lunatic. <laughs> like, still keep playing for map control, etc. There's an enemy through here, then left. Most of the enemy vehicles are gone now, actually. Already. He is pushing for the left, I think. He may actually be hiding in this corner. Oh, M6 undamaged. 
I want to keep my uh, upper front plate kind of angled up on this. Oh, it's load up. I got a lot more than his load up. Okay. He's only got his 37 mil now. Oh, damn it, dude. <laughs> there was an M18 in there. Yeah, I think they're just kind of hiding out. I couldn't hear him. I got cocky for pushing for that guy. I didn't want to try and hit him through the back to try and kill him. Right, 410 it is. Still need to get our four aircraft kills. Not very many people left though. There's one... Well, one, two, three, four, five people. Not coming back really. After one spawn. We had the same thing here. These two guys spawned in Pumas at the start. I don't think the Pumas are rank 3 either, so that's not even going to get them anything. There probably isn't enough people to kill for me to get the achievement for this plane. We'll see. There we go. M6 is gone now. Is that an SPAA? Yes, it is. It's taking pot shots. I think he might have spotted me. Is the thing is a buffers? Oh yeah, he's not. He's looking straight at me too. Okay, there's two. We should be fine here. And then we've got the M18 who killed me, who I think is still alive. <coughs> Excuse me. They're still a little bit sick. Wonder if he's still hiding in that little courtyard. Yeah, he is. Okay, one more to go. That M18 just died over here. Let's keep an eye out in this field. At the minute. We're definitely going to win this game. Whether we'll get a fourth kill or not, I'm not sure. Triple A just shot down our TU. Okay, I think he was... Yeah, he went a little bit too close to the, the sun there, going near that base. Oh, there goes a Sherman. Jumbo. Right, one guy left who has died and not really done anything else since. There's just one dude he's going to be hard to spot. I mean, there's a guy right there in the middle of the... In the middle of the street. There's our fourth kill. Another M18. Okay, one dude left. And this bomber. Looks like he's about to hit the deck. Oh, he's good. Duck shit nam. Oh, is that a... Yeah. That's a 1.3 bomber for USA. There he goes, TBD. And that should be us. That should be game. So we'll get a one in the aircraft. Well, I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to J out. Hopefully give this guy a kill. Nope. It didn't. And then we're going to spawn in a tank so I get the win for the tank. And there we go. This guy respawned again. Probably not a great idea. He's just dragging everybody else's game out. But if he's looking for a particular achievement, then I suppose absolutely fine. There he goes, he's dead. I don't think he'll have enough respawn points now. He's had, uh, I mean, maybe. He's got two kills and two assists, but he did spawn a plane. We'll see in a second. Well, I lost all our vehicles. And that's it. Okay, perfect. We got our plane kills, and we should get our star for that. And then we can move on to the next one. So, there we go. Two games back to back. I'd already done my task though. 
and uh, I just did it again basically. So tomorrow when the timer resets I'll probably be using this exact same lineup. I've also got a US lineup ready as well if I just want to take a little break. I also take Britain out as well and even Russia if we fancy. As long as your vehicles are rank 3 and above, that is here, any of these vehicles on this line and for tanks as well, as long as are these ones and all the way up, you should be good for grinding your events. Now some advice for when you do get your coupons, what I generally do is I'll basically get a coupon, I'll hold on to it for a little while such as like a VFW, I've got three of these things, you can check this thing on the marketplace, I bought these for around $20 and now they're selling for around $50. So what I can do is I can sell one of these, maybe buy an extra Leo and I'll leave it for a year and wait until the price inflates. And from then I can just keep on repeating that process whenever the new vehicles are introduced and people put them up for cheap, buy them for cheap and then wait a year, then I can sell them on and repeat that process. But to give you an example of a vehicle that's inflated in price, this is the Pack Puma for Germany. This thing cost $30 at one point and now it's almost $700 and people are buying them. So if you are going to do Operation Summer, just bear in mind, maybe you want to hang on to your coupons this time around if you don't like the vehicles that are there. Just make sure you don't sell them straight away. Keep a hold of them, wait till they're at a good price, sell them on and then you can maybe buy something that you do like. Anyway, I hope this video was enjoyable as well as educational. Thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.